Uh, so I sort of forced into cycling today. I've driven some of the way and then parked down in Rottingdean. Uh, because of the extortionate car parking charges here, it's a lot easier just to get on a bike, packed all the stuff on a backpack. There are a couple of ways down to the East Arm, but I wanted to go down to Marina Square. Nice early start. I mean, the tackle shop opens at 7, uh, and that's where the tackle shop is. Picked up some more rag and some peeler crab as well while I was there. They also come and take the money at the wall, so they get to know what's being caught. It's always worth paying a visit, spending a few pounds, see if you can get some tips. Or Okay, so here we are. This is Brighton Harbour. Going to give it a go. It's got the makings of a really nice day, actually. Sun's coming out, a very sort of nice spring feel. And here you're looking back towards land on the east arm. And this section's quite rocky. There's a lot of snags nearby. Uh, from about where I am, there were people fishing for the squid. Uh, we'll have a look at those a bit later. Uh, it's also quite good for bass around here, perhaps from low tide up. First thing I want to be doing is dropping this drop net down. You don't want to be rushing for this if you get something first cast, so set up the drop net and, uh, and then you're good to go. Didn't have any fresh worm today, so because of the short tides, I should really get around to digging my own, but a uh, worm would be a good bait here as well for the place. I'm just setting up a a three ounce bass rod. Conditions are quite calm and I was told in the tackle shop you don't really need much more than three ounce uh, on days like today. Also makes things a little bit more sporting. If I do catch something on this rod uh, they do put up quite a nice little fight. Although I'm not sure this would handle a smooth hound particularly well. Let's give it a go. Well here we are, it's very sunny Brighton. I uh, haven't caught anything yet but I'll show you what we've got. Um, I've got this rod out here. This is a, uh, it's now got four ounces on it. I'm actually struggling to hold bottom because uh, the tide's just pushing too much. Um, but I've just dropped that down. I'm just about bouncing it off the bottom there. That's with the big peeler crab. And then the red rod, which is over there, uh, that one's out a distance. I say distance, probably only about 80, 90 yards. Uh, and that's got a two hook flapper on it. So I'm hoping a little bit further out uh, might pick up some place and then closer in, we've got a chance there of the bass. I might put a big peeler crab a little bit further out as well, chance of a smooth hound. But it's a lovely day. It's quite a lot of anglers here. Uh, we'll have a walk along in a minute and see if anyone's catching anything. I've got a three ounce lead. That's obviously on the lead link onto a swivel that's uh, crimped in there. And that goes back up the line, uh, round the bait clip that's turned upside down, clips on them. I'm just going to lob this one, I'm just going to leave it there. That's the idea, let's cast him in. So no real need for a rod rest here, but um, it's good if you can at least protect your rod with something on there. You can tie a towel on or something like that. Hardly registered that actually.
and I've just had word that they're catching uh, it was a two and a half pound place being caught uh, plus some flounders as well doesn't look like it doesn't look like there's many people fishing but there is uh, quite a few around there. It's about 20, maybe 25 rods. So obviously with the smooth hound out there, hopefully there's something bigger. I can either cut them in half to suit the size of hook and then I just snip the lungs out. There aren't those really good juices in the lungs. so. Beautiful fish, very small. Let's get him unhooked. Uh, so all I've done here is just put a three hook flapper. I've got the uh, Peter Crab on all three of those hooks. Uh, I have strapped them on on all of those three. There's little bits of shell on there but I don't think that matters uh, when the fish are feeding particularly if it's for the smooth hound. Hopefully that'll give me another chance of one. A bit restricted with the casting here actually. Okay so what I'm going to do now um, getting towards the end of the session I want to try for a bigger smooth hound so we're going to use a circle hook there on the top of this pulley panel i'm going to just pack the uh, all the crab that i've got left uh, so we've got this pulley rig that's the proper pulley rig uh, that's the the name of it by breakaway and then we just pack that up on there cast that out a fair distance uh, i've been advised not to drop it down the side of the wall i was doing that earlier um, but apparently most of the fish come from a, a short cast away so it has got you can see there it's got little bits of shell on there as long as that as long as the hook point stands proud I've used a little bit of the juicy bit of the crab um, by on the gape well, you can probably tell the mist came in a little bit things got a bit colder wasn't that perfect spring day but still good to get out uh, last fished here about 15 years ago And uh, yeah, you do get the squid here. 
uh, as we found out on the way back. And then it was a case of cycling all the way back up the hill to Rottingdean. <laughs> but yeah, worthwhile venue this one. If you fished it, let us know, that'd be great. We've also got a mark guide to this one that's coming out soon. I'll put that at the end of this video so you can just have to click onto it. And again, I'd love you to subscribe and come and join the community tab on YouTube. Thanks very much for watching. Oh my god. That's an alien. Are you really alone?